Hi there, it's Annie from the Youth Room at the BB Library, and it's time for another virtual story time. So we'll enjoy some stories together, we will sing some songs, and we will do a craft together as well. Now before we get started, I did want to tell you about an exciting new service that's starting this week that the Youth Room is offering, and that's Family Fun Bags. Family Fun Bags are surprise themed bags that have different picture books, they have activities and crafts in them that are fun for the whole family. These are especially great for kids who are around ages three to six or seven or so. And every couple of weeks or so, our theme for the bag will change. So when you get it and you open it up, you'll find different picture books and activities that are all related to a special theme. Now this week and next week, our theme is fall and change since lots of different changes happen in the season of fall. So all of the books and activities and crafts in there will be all about fall and different changes that we see, especially in autumn and in September. Now to uh, get one of these, you will need to reserve and you can do that by sending us an email and you just want to email, email at wakefieldlibrary.org. Again, it's email at wakefieldlibrary.org and you can say that you would love to request a family fun bag and you'll be able to pick those up the same way that you pick your books up from right outside of the library. Nice and easy. So I just wanted to tell you about that. There's no shortage of lots of great stories and crafts um, this season, so I wanted to tell you about some more ways that you could find even more books and more fun things to do at home. So let's go ahead and get started with our story time for today. Today I am feeling pretty hungry, so I wanted to share some books with you that will probably make me even hungrier because they're about different tasty foods. So the first book I thought we could read today is Bilal Cook's Doll. And this was written by Aisha Saeed, and the illustrations were done by Anusha Said. And this book is read with permission from Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. And another book I have to share with you today is called Be Bim Bop. And this book was written by Linda Sue Park. And the illustrations were done by Ho Bake Lee. And this book is read with permission from Simon & Schuster Publishers. So since we're reading about all these tasty foods, I thought we could also sing some songs about some different tasty foods. And for our craft today, I thought we could make a special something. So this is a basket and can you tell what's in my basket? Let's see. An orange, an apple, a pear, and what do we think is left in here? A banana. So we're going to be making little uh, paper plate baskets and we'll be making some different fruits that you can put right inside of your basket. So to make these we're just going to need a couple of different things. First we're going to need a paper plate of course for a paper plate fruit basket. We are also going to need uh, some great colorful paper. All different colors are great. You can also always use white paper and you can use some crayons, markers, color pencils, or paints to draw on it and make it nice and colorful. Um, and you are gonna need these anyway, because you're gonna wanna color on your basket, you might wanna color in your fruits, so definitely get something fun to color with. And you are also going to need a pair of scissors. You are going to need some tape. And last but not least, you are going to need, click, click, a stapler. And we'll go over how to make our paper plate fruit baskets after we read our stories together and sing a few songs. Then we'll be feeling so hungry. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. Um, before we read our books today, how about we start by saying hello to each other? Now we always say hello with our words, right? But another way that we can say hello to each other is with our hands and with our actions. So we're going to use some American Sign Language, and that's a way that we can communicate with our hands instead of using our voices. So I'll go over what signs we need to do hello friends with our voices and with our hands in American Sign Language. First we need hello. I'm just going to give a little salute like that. 
Hello. Friends, I'm going to take my pointer fingers and go crisscross. Friends. It's time. I'm going to tap my wrist for time to say, point to my lips for say, hello, and salute again. Ready to sing? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. That was excellent. Now, before we jump into our stories, would you like to wake a couple of body parts up with me? I just want to get a couple wiggles out and wake some things up. How about we start by waking up our hands and we'll wake these up with a couple of claps. Ready? We wake up our hands with a clap, 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 clap. We wake up our hands with a clap, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. We wake up our shoulders with a shrug, 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 shrug. We wake up our shoulders with a shrug, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. We wake up our tummies with a pat, 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 pat. We wake up our tummies with a pat, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. Ooh, one big one to get all those wiggles out. Ready? Ooh. <laughs> Great job. Well, I am feeling nice and awake now. How about we start reading our stories together? Ready? So for our first one, Bilal Cook's Doll. And again, this was written by Aisha Saeed, and the illustrations were done by Anusha Saeed. Now, Dal is a popular and tasty dish that a lot of people eat in South Asia and in Pakistan, which is where our friend Bilal is from. In English, the word dal is lentils. Have you ever tried lentils before? They can be pretty tasty, and there's a lot of different ways that you can cook them. So let's find out why Bilal likes to cook dal so much. He's going to introduce this food to his friends. Bilal Cook's Doll. Bilal is biking outside with his friends when his father steps out of the house. Bilal, it's time to begin cooking dinner, says Abu. Bilal's friends ask why they would need to start cooking so early. Hmm. This dish takes patience, Abu says. This dish takes time. It's the best meal of all, says Bilal. It's, hmm, what do you think it is? It's doll. What's doll like? Is it salty? Does it taste really good? So Bilal's friends have never had doll before. They don't know what it's like. And Bilal says, doll is nutty and creamy and warm like soup. There are all different kinds. Come see, you can help us pick which one. Let's see what different kinds of doll we might make. They take off their shoes. They wash their hands. Bilal grabs his favorite stool. And let's see what he's looking at in the cupboard. They study the colors. So we have yellow, orange, green, and brown. Hmm. What color do you think they'll pick? Yellow, orange, green, or brown? Yellow, Elias says, because yellow is sunflowers, rubber ducks, and the sun. And Shana doll, yellow doll, 
is my favorite, the Rawl says. When Abu scoops out a cup of the bright yellow doll, it clatters into the bowl. They're small like pebbles, but shaped like pancakes. And they slip through Bilal's fingers like sand. They line up the spices. Bilal breathes in the scent of turmeric, chili, cumin, Morgan sprinkles salt. Elias tries to help. Bilal combines the spices. Abu pulls out a pot, the biggest they have. There's gonna be a lot of doll cooking in that big pot. It looks funny, Morgan frowns. It smells funny whispers Elias. Do you think it will taste okay? Hmm. So Bilal's friends, they don't know about this food, so they're, they're curious. They don't know if it's going to taste good to them. And suddenly, Bilal is a little tiny bit worried that maybe, just maybe, his friends won't like the doll at all. He's a little nervous. This might not taste so good to his friends. Hmm. Is it ready? Asks Elias. Can we taste? Asks Morgan. No, Abu explains. Doll takes time. We have to wait. The flavors mix together slowly. You kids go play and have fun while it cooks. So it's gonna take a long time to cook this doll. What do you think the kids will do while they wait? Let's see what they do outside. They run outside to play hopscotch. Elias numbers the sidewalk to 20. Let's make it longer to 100, he says. It'll definitely be done by then. So they hop, skip, and jump to the end. Caleb and Emma join in too. Let's check if it's ready. Let's go take a bite. Do you think the doll will be ready yet? After that long game of hopscotch? Not yet, Bilal tells them. Doll takes time. We have to wait. They put on swimsuits, slip down the slide, and cannonball into Morgan's pool. Elias floats. Morgan dives. Some more neighborhood kids join them, and they all play Marco Polo. Is the doll done? asks Morgan. It's got to be ready by now. Do you think the doll is ready to eat yet? Let's see what Bilal says. Splash! Bilal squints at the sun. Hmm. It's not as high in the sky. Almost, he tells them. Doll takes time. We have to wait. Let's see what they do next while they're waiting. They hike through the forest and skip pebbles in the stream. The sun starts to set. As they watch the fireflies glow, they hear Abu call out, Bilal, it's almost time. So it's getting dark now. That doll has been cooking for a long time. Let's see if it's ready now. They march up the cobblestone steps. They knock on the yellow door. And as loud as they can, they ask, is it done? Look at all those neighborhood kids ready to eat doll. Do you think it's done yet? Come see. Abu smiles and opens the door wider. The kids rush inside. 
Bilal lifts up the lid. He peeks in the pot. Abu says, ready for the final steps. Almost, they're putting the finishing touches on it. They dice up the onions, chop ginger, press garlic, squeeze lemons, and top it off with fresh cilantro. So lots of different herbs, flavors, spices going into the doll. Bilal puts out plates. Abu sets out the naan, the bread. The kids pull up every chair in the house. <laughs> Yum! Bilal watches his friends take a spoonful of dal. It's steamy, says Morgan. Like soup, says Elias. Slurp. It tastes garlicky and salty and sweet. I like the onions. I like the lemon. Mmm! And the way it's so creamy, it melts in your mouth. Dal takes time. We had to wait. But Bilal, you were right. Doll tastes great. The law looks at his dad and smiles. Abu winks. Tasty, isn't it? He says, like my Ami once made me. My friends and I helped her once, like you. Doll is tiny, doll is tough, but with a little time and a lot of patience, it becomes the softest, tastiest, best thing in the whole wide world. And the best part is sharing it with friends. That's why Bilal loves doll so much. He got to share his delicious food with all of his friends, and that made it really special. Now, if you do take this book out of the library, you can even make Bilal's favorite Shana doll recipe and enjoy it with your own friends and family. Well, how about before we read our next book, let's get a couple of our wiggles out. I'm going to wiggle my fingers a little bit. Can you wiggle your fingers? What about your toes? Can you wiggle your toes at all? And how about your shoulders? Can you wiggle your shoulders? What about your nose? Can you give that a wiggle? Let's try them all together. Ready? I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my shoulders. And I wiggle my nose. Phew! Now all the wiggles are out of me, and I'm as still as still can be. How about we go on to our next book? So this one is Bee Bim Bop, and this book was written by Linda Sue Park and illustrated by Ho Big Lee. Now, Bee Bim Bop is a delicious Korean dish, and the word bop that means rice in Korean. And bibim means mix it up. So this is rice that you mix up. We can find out what different things they're gonna mix into this rice. And this is a pretty fun one to read aloud because there's a nice rhyme scheme to it. And we're also gonna repeat some words a couple of times. Um, so that repetition is always really fun to do at home. So we're gonna say a couple of times, Hungry, hungry, hungry for some bee bim bop. Do you want to say that together? Hungry, hungry, hungry for some bee bim bop. Let's read and let's see if this hungry little girl can help her mother make some bee bim bop. Almost time for supper, rushing to the store. Mama buys the groceries. More, Mama, more. Hurry, Mama, hurry. Gotta shop, shop, shop. Ready? Hungry, hungry, hungry for some bee bim bop. Is 
They're rushing to get all those groceries. Home and in the kitchen, eggs to stir and fry. Mama, catch the spatula. Flip the eggs high. Hurry, Mama, hurry. Gotta flip, flip, flop. <gasps> hungry, hungry, hungry for some bee bim bop. Rice is on the boil, bubbling in the pot, white and sticky lickety, steaming good and hot. Hurry, flurry rice, gotta pop, pop, pop. Hungry, hungry, hungry for some bee bim bop. Mama's knife is shiny, slicing fast and neat. Garlic and green onions, skinny strips of meat. Hurry, Mama, hurry. Gotta chop, chop, chop. Hungry, very hungry for some bee bim bop. So we're getting everything chopped. Let's see what else we have to do. Spinach, sprouts, and carrots. Each goes in a pan. Let me pour the water in. Yes, I know I can. Did she pour all of that water in? I think a little slid out the side. Uh-oh. Oh, sorry, Mama, sorry. Got a mop, mop, mop. Hungry in a hurry for some bee bim bop. Bowls go on the table, big ones striped in blue. I help set the glasses out, spoons and chopsticks too. So we're getting all the utensils out to eat this bibimbap. Almost time. Hurry family, hurry, gotta hop, hop, hop. Dinner's on the table and it's Bee bim bop. Everybody's coming to eat. Quiet for a moment. Papa says the grace. Everybody says amen. A smile on every face. Rice goes in the middle. Egg goes right on top. Mix it! Mix like crazy! Time for bee bim bop. Mmm. Finally got that delicious bee bim bop. And similarly to Bilal Cook's doll, if you take Bibimbap out of the library, you can try making it yourself right at home with a delicious recipe right in the back. Well, thank you so much for enjoying those tasty tales with me. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. How about we sing a couple of songs and do some rhymes that are all about other foods too. How about we start out with pat cake do you know pat a cake? Let's do it together, ready? Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it, pat it, mark it with a B, put it in the oven for you and me. <laughs> Excellent. 
Now, another little song and rhyme I know about food is Five Fat Sausages. And this one's fun because it might make you a little bit hungry if you like sausages. And it's also going to help us count down from five. So we'll go five, four, three, two, one. So let's, let's start with five fat sausages in the pot. And you can stand up for this one if you like. So we're going to start and we're going to crouch down really low and we're going to wiggle our fingers and we're going to go to be sizzling little sausages. Ready? Five fat sausages sizzling in a pot. Sizzle, 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 bam! Four fat sausages sizzling in a pan. Sizzle, 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 bam! Three fat sausages sizzling in a pan. Sizzle, 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 bam! Two fat sausages sizzling in a pan. Sizzle, 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 bam! One fat sausage sizzling in a pan. Sizzle, 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 bam! <laughs> Great job! Now, would you like to do one with a little scarf? If you don't have a scarf, you can always use your hands for this too. How about we do popcorn kernels? So we're going to be stirring our big pot of popcorn. And you can use your hand like this, or if you have a scarf, you can use a scarf to stir your pot of popcorn. Ready? Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in a pot, in a pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop till they pop. Let's stir our pot with our other hand now. Ready? Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in a pot, in a pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Let's do one more and let's do two hands for this one. It's a really big pot of popcorn. We have to stir all that popcorn. Ready? Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in a pot, in a pot. <gasps> shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. <laughs> Great job a lot of popcorn, huh? <laughs> well, let's sing one more song before we do our craft together. And our last song that we'll do is Goodbye Friends. So this will be really similar to Hello Friends that we sang at the beginning, but this time instead of saying hello, we're going to say goodbye. So we'll go over the signs that we need because we'll use some American Sign Language to help us sing this one again. So we need to say goodbye. I'm just going to wave my hand. Goodbye. Friends, I'm going to take my pointer fingers and go crisscross. Friends. It's time. I'm going to tap my wrist for time to say, point to my lips for say. Goodbye. And I wave my hand again. Ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. That was excellent. So let's go ahead and we'll jump into our craft for today. So again, today we are making some paper plate fruit baskets. And to make these, I'll just go over what we're going to need for our craft today. We need a paper plate, of course. We need 
construction paper, lots of great colors, or you can use white paper and you can color it in because we're also going to need some crayons, markers, colored pencils, paints, anything that you like to color with. We are also going to need some scissors. We are going to need some tape. And last but not least, we are going to need a stapler. Click, click. So let's go over how to make these paper plate fruit baskets. So the first thing that I'm going to need is a paper plate. So I've got my plate here. And the first thing that you might want to do is color it in. I decided to color mine uh, brown because it made me think of a picnic basket. But you can get really creative. Maybe you want a pink basket or an orange one or a blue one. So you can really pick and choose and have lots of fun. You can decorate it with stickers or glitter or pom-poms. So you can have a lot of fun with this and get really creative. So you want to do that on the bottom side of the plate. And after it's nice and decorated, we're going to fold that paper plate in half. And I'm going to squeeze along the fold. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So I have a nice line down the middle. Kind of see the line right there. Yep. And now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut my plate in half to make my basket right down the middle where we folded it. There we go. And now I'm going to put the plate together. So again, it's the bottom of the plate that is facing out. So that's going to give it a nice little pocket inside of there. Now I need to take my, my stapler and I'm going to staple this together. I'm going to start by going right here to keep this basket nice and closed. I got one staple in, and then I'm going to do the same right on the other side. And now I'm going to add just a few more right along the part with the ridges here along the bottom just to make sure our fruit doesn't slide right out of this basket. We don't want that fruit traveling anywhere. So that was one, two, and I'm going to do one more. Click! So now my paper plates are together. It has a little hole in the middle for the fruit to go. And so now I'm going to put on a handle for my basket. And for this, you can just take a long strip of paper. I decided to use brown paper for this, but you can use any color that you like. And now what we're going to want to do, we're going to tape it inside of the basket like this. So I'm just going to get some of my tape. And I like to do it this way, where I put the tape on my strip of paper. I'm going to take that and tuck it right inside. Perfect, and now I need to do the same thing with the other side. So I'll just get a little piece of tape and put it right there. And just like before, I am going to slide it right inside. There we go. And you can see I taped my um, the holder for my basket onto different sides of the plate, but you can do just one side if you want. Your choice. I like this because it gives me a little, a little more balance on both of them. So that's how you make the basket part. And now comes the fun part where you get to fill up your basket with different kinds of fruits. So for my basket, I decided to make a yellow banana. I also made a green pear, and you can tell I made these really big, um, and that's so they'll stick out of the basket a little bit. I made an orange. 
And last but not least, I made a red apple. Slide that guy right in there. So those are a couple things that you can put into your fruit basket. You might want to do different fruits. Maybe you want to do a pineapple or a papaya or a mango, grapes. There's lots of different kinds of fruits that you might want to put in there. So you can get really creative and use your imagination and fill up your lovely fruit basket with whatever you want for a nice healthy snack. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for enjoying our delicious stories together today and singing some songs and making our craft together. I had a great time with you, and I will see you again next Tuesday. See you later.